hypothetical viewers, and welcome back to Shining Force Gaiden. We are Wandering Dragon, and we are going up this tower to fight the Wizard Bazoo, which is also what we were doing last time when the emulator froze, and I had to go back and replay to this mission. I wasn't as far back as I thought. Uh, my previous save state was just for the battle right before this, so not too bad. And now I have a save state at the start of this battle, so we should be good. Well, that guy's poisoned, and I forgot about it. Whatever. Whatever. I could have level grinded between, you know, this and the previous video, but I actually did not. Did not bother. So, we currently have, uh, some people, a couple people 11, mostly a 12, some 13s, you know. Did get Mayfair to level 11. She's on her way to level 12. So we, we gotta get our level 11 peeps up. Uh, and as we saw last time, this is a battle that does have some bottlenecks, so... I may actually just go slightly slower and kind of clump everyone up at the base of the stairs before we go up the stairs. Um, just so that, you know, if one person kind of walks to the top of the stairs before you can go fully forward, then enemies come to attack you and then you're blocked. So I may just go a little slower at first in order to not create as many bottlenecks, but we'll see. You know, I, I, I'm not some kind of expert on the enemy AI, so we'll see how that works. Okay, I'm not going to go up the stairs yet, because this way I'll wait until someone can step out. Basically, I don't want someone to end up on this tile, because then the enemy moves to attack them standing here, and we're completely blocked. Whereas if someone is here, we have a little more breathing room. Um, actually, I guess Claw can be the person to uh, ensure that we have some freedom of movement. Yes, yes, I know you're suffering damage. I mean, at least that creates the poison makes it possible that everyone can just keep healing. Good for X. We have three people who can heal now. We need plenty of damage to heal. Good job, Claude. Oh, but yeah, this is the last chapter... The last battle, rather, in Chapter 2, at which point we will be halfway through the game. So this game is fairly, uh, fairly short and sweet. Very succinct full game. <laughs> this battle has a lot of enemies, and I'm already annoyed at waiting for the cursor to to shift to each one so they can wait in place. <laughs> I'm a very impatient gamer. Truth be told. <laughs> uh, I'm also just, we're just living dangerously here because I actually, I watched back the first video I made just to make sure everything was working and then I didn't try any others because they were just so quick to make because it's just one battle after another we're just gonna blast them through. Um, so I... Um, I think I'm gonna detox him just because I'm annoyed at having to read the little he got damaged by poison message every turn. And we have so few opportunities to use detox, it's 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 just not useful very often, so on those rare occasions when it is, I gotta let it shine. It's disappointing that it only gives 5x, because it's not actually cheaper than the other spells. It's it's three, just like the lowest level heal, so why does it give less than it? You also have so many fewer opportunities to use it. I some of the balancing decisions in this game, I don't truly understand. Uh, I think we'll be fine if, if someone else will get their turn and we'll be able to move up. I'm pretty sure. Watch that not happen and then I'll just be filled with regret. <laughs> Excellent. I thought we'd be okay there. Uh, yeah, let's use Hell. It gave Blast. The translation of which is still very baffling to me. Good job, Mayfair. Gotta keep leveling her up. I gotta say again, very impressed with Mayfair, who... She was blinded by Waldo. She's probably only been blinded for like, what, a month? I, it doesn't seem like they've been resisting him. I mean, I guess our, like, allies went to Cyprus and disappeared and came back. So maybe it's been a couple months, but anyway, it's been like less than a year. Oh wow, critical hit. Um, but she's like totally able to navigate this completely unfamiliar environment. She's in a place where she's never been. She's like climbing stairs, fighting knights and skeletons and stuff, and just not having any difficulty at all. I feel like she's like the Batman of this game. <laughs> she's crazy prepared and adapted instantly to this situation. She is the Dark Knight. <laughs> she does have a spell called Hell. <laughs> so, who knows? 
<laughs> okay, Dookie. We're just... Yeah, it's just gonna be a very leisurely battle as we climb up all these stairs. Gotta get all the way to the top of the tower. The top of the tower will be a wee bit more challenging because we do have the Master Mage to contend with, along with the Zoo, who has Bolt. Um, so we're going to have multiple magic-wielding enemies, uh, and in a fairly narrow space. That's only two squares wide, so it's a bit tougher to avoid clustering up and making ourselves good targets for magic. You know, especially for Bolt, which has a quite large range. Assuming that it works the same way in this game as the previous game. We have no idea if it does. It's possible level 1 of Bolt just has the plus sign like the other level, the other uh, spells. And it only gets its higher, its higher range at higher levels. I'm not sure. Because our party does not currently have anyone with Bolt. Yeah, Bazoo also has more HP than any other enemy that we've faced so far. I keep clicking that instead of equip. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's use our lance to attack this beast. Very good. So we don't want him healing the other enemies, so that'll just be hella annoying. Um, I don't want to- he's a level 13, so I'll just move him over. I don't want him to get the KO. Um, did my fear actually get hit? We should try using his dispel spell. Yeah, I want to weaken this guy so that Mayfair maybe can kill him. I'm serious about leveling up Mayfair. I need to have my party full of magic users. Wow, she did not need a lot of XP to get that level. Very good. <laughs> that felt very efficient. Yeah, we're apparently going to find out a pretty substantial uh, revelation in the plot at the end of this battle, so hopefully the excitement of that will make up for how slow-paced this battle is, and I- oh, good, Baker leveled up. I don't have a ton to say about it. Especially since we already fought half of this battle and then the emulator crashed. <laughs> or froze, I guess. I start using the speed up function at some point. I actually do enjoy the gameplay of these battles. I just like don't I don't have anything particularly enlightening to say about them, and I also don't have anything all that funny to say about them. They just you know, it's a tactics RPG, we're fighting. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. I am contemplating when to grind them up to level 20 to promote them, because I do still want to do that. I did it in both of the other games. Um, I'm thinking in Chapter 3 will be the time, probably early on, you know, if we have a battle early on that, uh, you know, seems like it'll be convenient to do that. And certainly all of our healers we can do that for. You know, we'll we'll see how high levels we get with everyone else, you know. Because I, you know, I'm feeling more casual about this game. I feel like I am playing it on easy mode, so maybe it won't be as hard as the others. Oh, I can't resist the chance to get her another KO. It's it's not that easy to get him. Good healer. She only gets 25x? Jeez, those skeletons are getting crap x. They are just not good. Move Claude up to prevent us from getting blocked at the top of the stairs and then start moving everyone else. Little by little. Uh, I guess. Yeah, so you can maybe get a level here, or at least some x. I don't want him to fall behind. Gotta make our way through this battle. I don't know if 
we'll actually end up fighting that Master Mage on the left. It depends on how the enemy AI will move him, because we're not going to really go over that way at all. Oh, and at Chapter 3, I think somewhere towards the start, we're going to we're gonna get Domingo, who was in the first game. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be the same Domingo, or if it's just another of the same species. Um, like, maybe Domingo isn't his name. Maybe that's just, like, what he is. He is a Domingo. I'm uncertain. But, uh, but we can recruit him. He's a secret character. And as a wizard, naturally I will use him. And also I used him in Shining Force 1 and I liked him a lot. He's very cute and hilarious. And he's also very useful because he can hover and use powerful magic. <laughs> so there's really no reason not to use him. He's just got everything going for him. We can also recruit later on an additional secret character who is called, I believe, Amigo. Who's another little flying squid thing, but with different, like instead of being an, a mage, they're a healer. So we're going to be meeting a lot of like, just weird little squid creatures in this game. <laughs> it's funny, I don't think they appear in any of the other, like they didn't appear in Shining Force 2, so I guess that was sort of an abandoned part of the series. Let me just take a quick peek, how, so he really needs to get a KO. I want to make sure my level 11 characters, you know, don't fall behind too much. Just kind of checking everyone real quick. I think he's supposed to level up. And... Okay. So we're moving people up and moving up in the world. Uh, I cannot resist the chance to use Blaze. She doesn't even need the X, but they're actually lined up together. That doesn't always happen, you know? You get the enemies in the perfect position. Did... Delightful. Oh, that actually gave a lot of X, so I guess the those knight dudes are a suitable level. Um, well, I'm actually going to have you wait. You're pretty injured, so someone can heal you and get experience points for that. It's not a bad thing to have us take some hits here, just so we'll have people to heal. Because the thing is, with the final boss, we're going to want to just zerg rush him down as fast as possible. So we're not going to want to linger and do a lot of healing, you know. Because I don't think we're going to win a war of attrition with a... with someone who has a bolt. <laughs> we don't have any multi-target healing either. Pegasus Knights will ever actually come over. That one probably will. It's approaching, but the ones in the upper left. I'm not sure whether they will or not. Somebody's gonna start moving up. Um, hmm. Well, he's not quite in the right position. Keep this. Um, just, I feel like I want to save the X for a bit. One of my level 11s. You know? It's a good opportunity. Uh, I can just wait also. We're kind of stalling a little here just to get, you know, everyone in the position I want. I really want one of the level 11 characters to defeat him. Stock will be a good choice. That should do. Oh, not quite. Man, that guy's tanky. Well, that's that's okay though. Like a couple more attacks and stock will get to the level. Gotta keep my bow knight up to speed. Maybe Seek will get his turn and we could have him grab the KO. That'd be helpful. Good job, Roos. Although it wouldn't have hurt for you to get hit. Honestly, we could healed you up. More X. Ah, just you know, let's just relax and slowly fight this battle. Well, the wizard Bazoo is just waiting patiently while we very methodically destroy his army. <laughs> he seems unconcerned. Okay, so maybe one of our higher level characters will have to uh, kill this guy. Because <laughs> it is. Actually, you know, I'm not going to go up here yet because that might aggro the guys above. I'm going to just let this guy come to us, basically. Oh shoot, I should have been using the Power Spear for everything. It is way better than our... It, it's like the next tier of weapons. Power Spear forever. 
shoot, man. That's that's freaking good. Oh wow. Well, that's Apis up to level 13, I guess. That power spear is gonna be really helpful for the final boss. I will be able to just destroy him, hopefully. Did we actually shuffle the items correctly to give? We got this new axe, and I don't remember whether we. Oh, we did not. Okay, so in that case, um, you know what? Clock is usually level. Yeah, we gotta make sure that uh, we give that axe to Roos. So that will be excellent. Oh man, he didn't even get a level. Bummer. I guess the Death Sniper is also like slightly behind. We should be. Uh, okay, Mayfair. You can get some packs. Healing up Claude. Well, only be a little, but, you know, gradually working up the next. Okay. Yeah, I, I do want to make sure that we get as much healing in as possible. Uh, one more KO would also do it if she can kill an enemy. i make sure C gets some. KO would help him out a lot. Um, he also pray heal himself, I guess. That's convenient. Even if he's at level 13 now, you know. <laughs> eventually that will no longer be the highest level in the party. Okay, next we go up here. So as enemies are approaching, we may actually want to deal with them before the others. Oh, he's not quite in the right spot. Sorry. Yeah, just to make sure that they don't fly over and cause problems. Um, I want to be cautious here and not get too, too close to um, that mage. Because that mage can really put the hurt on the party. I'm like, I'm fine with them taking some chip that we can heal up. I do not want everyone taking 15 points of damage. That that will hurt. I wish I had a better idea of what the maze movement range was, but let's just slowly spread everyone out. Um, how many of these people need to heal? They do not. Okay, so this will hurt Shade, but no one else, and now he's close enough to attack. So to carefully add room. See, he already, the Master Mage already has enough H, uh, MP to cast that twice. So, he's a rough customer. Okay, um, and now we can give the Battle Axe to Friend of Zeus. Okay, I'm just hoping we... We're not quite close enough to attack the mage, so hopefully we can get some turns before it is too late, because this is not that large of a space, and we need to go near him to attack him. So if he gets his third again, we're going to be in for a world of hurt. And we may end up just fighting every single enemy, because they are aggroing now. I guess we got close enough to them. Okay, uh, this isn't even her vulnerable to the two Pegasus Knights, but we really need to hurt this Master Mage. Start. Okay, hopefully we can get some more turns. Oh, excellent, okay. So, I think this should actually just kill the Master Mage straight up. Excellent. Oh, the Master Mage was a big threat, so... You know, I just had to take him out as quickly as possible. Even even though that means sort of wasting the axe in a way, but... You know, <laughs> we had to compromise on that one. Oh, oops, I probably should have left him close to our healers. Oh, well. Start in on the Pegasus Knight. Um, fair. Uh, hmm. yeah, I might as well have her. Will her attack do more than blast at this point? It's 19 defense. Maker has 27 attack. So I think she should actually do like just it just as much if not more than blast. Yeah, <laughs> at this point she can out damage blast generally. Unless a quip. No. 
battle axe. Oh man, this is also... These two weapons are quite something. So Roos and Apis are currently our most insane damage dealers. So he is kind of still catching up here, but he can at least cast a spell to heal Nick and get 10 -ish. Three more heals, which he can do. He has enough MP, and he actually will level up. I really wanted... Ah, good. Clay is close enough. Or Cray, rather, sorry. Ah, uh, yes. This way Shade is not going to just get murdered by these Pegasus Knights. Excellent. Huh, so I guess if you heal a lot of damage, sometimes you get more of X. Because you got 14 there, which I was not expecting. Usually heal does not get more than 10. Good job, Prince Nick. Oh man, I did a bit of a spoiler there, sorry, that's that's what he's called in Sword of Asia, so that's what I know him as. Because <laughs> I've actually never played this game, only the sequel, so I know most of the characters. Anyone who also appears in the sequel, that's the version of them I'm familiar with. This like tiny babby Nick <laughs> looks a bit different than in the sequel, where he's a little more impressive. I'm assuming that he'll, like, turn into that, though, when he, like, promotes or whatever, he'll digivolve into the, <laughs> the improved Nick. Ah, oh, that was kind of a waste. I should have let someone else get that KO, I guess. Ah, oh, but that level is really nice. Level 14. Highest level party member. Ah, uh, I'm to turn. I guess I'll let Mayfair here just do a little healing. I really cannot wait until she gets the next level of blast so she can actually have a ranged attack. That is going to be so helpful. Good job, Mayfair. Ah, God. We can start attacking the Pegasus Knight. I mean, I guess it's good that we're fighting literally all the enemies. At least it's X. Um... I'm gonna let him move. Maybe Stock can get a turn and actually attack him. Uh, Reese can't really do anything. I guess I'll move him over there. Let's see, is there anyone else who needs a heal? You need to heal as many people as you can. Oh good, Apis does. A couple more heals and we can at least get you to 12. Ugh, keeping everyone leveled. It's, it's hard to keep them all even. Nick, we certainly want to make sure he's staying competitive. He is our main character. Young Nick. All of the Shining Force characters basically do start as just like tiny babbies. <laughs> they all look very, very... They look like they're about 12, the Shining Force main characters. And then when you promote them, they just instantly get 10 years older. <laughs> it's very wacky. Excellent. Got stock up to level 12. Uh, ooh, we gotta be careful, that Master Mage is approaching, and we need to make sure we are not in this formation where all of us can be attacked at once. Gotta spread us out a little. Um, see if you can heal. He's, I see he's too far away to be targeted by the Master Mage right now. We just gotta make sure our peeps who are nearby are not clustered up, because the Master Mage hits real hard. Spreading this out a little. Maybe that's what it's healing. I don't mind being right there. Yeah, this should be fine. We'll roll up Prince Nick. She will not be in range of the Master Mage. Just trying to make sure we use up our healer's X so it's not going to. or our healer's MP so it's not going to waste, because the MP you don't use is just X peers, leaving on the table. Oh, Master Mage retreated. Okay, well. I guess we'll just have to really cautiously start creeping forward. Because I think that we... Someone is going to have to get attacked by the Master Mage. I I don't think we're going to be able to get to the Mage before the Mage gets to us. So what we want is to make sure that it's not multiple people. Uh, 
needs a heal. Cray actually does. Is that... Mm. Yeah, he won't be close enough to attack. We'll have to split these two up next turn, but for now it should be fine. Just wanna... I think this should be enough to give Sig a level. At which point I think no one will be at level 11 anymore. We'll all be at least 12, so that's good. Kinda gradually making some progress here. His quickness didn't increase, unfortunately. He really needs more quickness. Why not just keep moving to the side, but without creating clumps? Stay in diamond formation. Sorry it's a little boring, but this very careful methodical strategy is, I think, the best way to ensure that we actually survive this battle. Okay, this should be enough to start luring that mage forward. I, yeah, he'll attack someone soon. Um, I also don't want to get in range of Bazoo, un, you know, uncautiously, but we do want to start attacking this here mage. If we can kill him before he even attacks us, that would be very excellent. Uh, it does mean clustering us up, it is a risk, but I th I'm hopeful that we can deserve him down. Excellent! Didn't even attack. Very, very good. We are now in Ranger Bazoo, it's obviously a risk, but like... You know, we do have to approach him, and we have to approach up these stairs that are two tiles wide, so... You know... <laughs> there will be some amount of risk involved. Man, it's almost 30 minutes already. It's, this is a slow battle. This, this, you know, it's, it's a lot of choke points, basically. Dang, Nick is just taking a beating. Attack level one, so I guess this boost attack. Also, his portrait, his battle sprite, looks nothing like his face portrait because his face portrait, he just looks like a normal dude, and his battle sprite looks like he's a fucking mind flayer or something. It's very weird. <laughs> like, what is that? It's a little, it's a little confusing. Not sure. Not sure that like the art team was the same people for both of those portraits. Once again, I cannot resist the temptation to use Blaze. I know we're all going to get hit by Bolt, but like, we have to get up the stairs at some point, you know, like, it, that's where we need to go. We gotta make progress. Good job, Wendy. I, I, love, I love having mages in the party. Just using their spells when you can actually hit multiple targets is just really, really satisfying. We are putting Claude in danger, but like, we gotta climb the tower, you know? That's- we have to do this. <laughs> we may have to eat a bolt, you know? There's- that's how it is. Yeah, we're so clustered up. But the, it's a two- it's a two tile wide staircase, that's, you know, that's what it is. Oh good, we just got the level 13. Get some of our heavy hitters a little higher in level. So let's uncluster as much as we can, given the escape space constraints. Because it's not going to be easy to take this guy down. He has a lot of HP. Um, uh, now here we are clustering again, but... We do also need to attack him. Oh wow, he was pretty close to the next level. Good, good. Now we just have our stragglers. Oh, so the... The first level of Bolt is just a plus sign, it's not the full-on, you know, 3x3 three three area. Okay, so it's slightly easier to avoid than I thought it might be. Although we're <laughs> still, like, not in great shape, but... Yeah... The, the higher level weapons are definitely helping. Nature is not going to be able to get up close enough to Nick, so I'm just going to have her heal down here. This good is getting axed for her. Because our poor level 12 are now 
They were already the lowest level before when they were level 11. Ah, one more heal for her though. And now they are again. Who else is? Well, it's pretty close. Nick could definitely use a Grail. Okay, uh. Trying to get everyone up these stairs in spite of the risk that it does pose, but. You know. If we leave him alive, that also means he can attack us more, so. It's a calculated risk. It's a calculated risk. Okay, Claude should be able to finish him, I'm hopeful. Actually, he didn't do 8 points of damage before, yeah, he only did 4. Claude, you're not quite strong enough. Uh, Roost actually can't get up in melee. Okay, good. Nick should be able to finish this. And that'll be good, because we'll get him a level. Excellent. Excellent. Very fitting. Nick is our, our final blow here. To level 13. Very good. Wow, we got a massive amount of coins for killing him. I will honor my promise. I have no idea why he is. <laughs> Nick says dot dot dot. Truth is, Nick, we were looking for you. But you found me instead. And then murdered you. Waldol, take me out of here. Nick. I will meet again in Cyprus. It's the boom tube. He has one of the mother boxes. <laughs> Nick, what was that all about? I don't think Nick knows. I think he's another amnesic protagonist. Oh, is this an elf? Why are her ears green when the rest of her sprite is not? Free, I'm finally free! I'm Yisha, a mage. Yes, another mage for the party. Bazoo had me sealed inside a spell. I want to help you. May I come along? I owe you my life. Yisha, the mage, has joined the Shining Force. So we already have someone who has Blaze. So will this be, like, maybe Bolt? Or maybe she'll have more Freeze? Because Wendy has both spells. So I'm assuming she's more, you know, like, going to get a higher level of one of them. Nick, what are you doing here, Nick? Excuse me, Isha. Do you know yet, Nick? Of course, he is the Prince of Cyprus. I spoiled this a little earlier in the video after trying so hard not to say it in all the previous ones, but oh well. In the in Shining Force Sword of Hadra, the game I have actually played, this character is Prince Nick, and he, you know about him from the beginning, because, you know, it's set after this game where he knows he's a prince. So to me, I think of him as Prince Nick. It's very hard to not call him that all the time because that's what he is in the game that I actually played. He was my master at the palace. He's yet another amnesia hero who turns out to be somebody important. The Shining Force was dumbfounded. <laughs> they had they had a lot of problems with pattern recognition, so they hadn't picked up on the fact that the main character is almost always the prince of something. Actually, Shining Force 2 did not have an amnesia protagonist, so Shining Force 1 and the two Gaiden games, maybe that was just their shtick. Nick, the humble stranger, was the Prince of Cyprus. But Nick wouldn't answer their questions and withdrew into silence. All he said was dot 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 dot. Their trust shaken, the adventurers set sail for the Cyprus mainland. Chapter 2 End. I wonder if it will actually be explained why he joined them or like what his deal is. Because in Sword of Asia, it's not, you know, it, he just is the prince. It's not really brought up, like, anything else about this adventure. <laughs> Would you like to record your adventure? Sure, even though it does not matter. Because <laughs> the emulator apparently is not set up to do that. We'll make a save state. Chapter 3. Okay, so we'll watch this opening cutscene and then wrap. As the Guardiana Shining Force approached Cyprus, a customs ship met them and towed the boat into the harbor. Everything and everybody on board was thoroughly inspected. It took some fast talking to get past the inspection. I'm amazed that they even bothered explaining that. That's a surprising amount of plot detail. A battle in the harbor? I... You know, I think this map also appears in Shining Force Sword of Asia, or at least there's also a map on a dock there. And so I escaped from Aserit with only my clothes. Those Guardiana warriors are awesome! Oh, so they're pretending to have gotten attacked by us. That's great. Really? 
Ooh, I had no idea. Okay, you can go. I also love how bored these customs workers are. This is like very realistic. It's Nick's turn. He better come up with a good tale. Are they not concerned that people are going to recognize him if he's literally the prince? Next! Suddenly King Edmund appeared at the dock. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dad's here. Look, it's Nick's uncle! Oh, wait. I, huh. I sort of assumed the king would be his dad, but I guess... Yeah, I guess in real life, like... They're, like, prince isn't always just the son of the king. You could also be, you know, like the fourth prince or something, who's like the you know, the nephew of the king or whatever. What brings you to Cyprus, kid? And they don't know what the prince looks like, apparently. Maybe he wasn't an important prince, you know? Maybe he's, like, 12th in line of the throne or something. Oh, uh, he's mute. That born that way. He's traveling with me. <laughs> Honestly, considering that usually the protagonists do not talk, they're not wrong. He's kind of mute. Alright, he can pass next. Wow, the, the border patrol here is just really working hard. Is that the king? That's an amazing face portrait. He, he does not really look very similar to Nick. Wait, stop that man! Maybe I should give him a more grand voice. Let me get a good look at him. Why, it's Nick! Gods, arrest him! That's seriously their king. I... What? It's not the face I was expecting. Prince Nick is a danger to the crown. They're arresting Nick. We've got to stop them. Man, we should just attack the port in the first place. <laughs> Sneaking in didn't help anyway. Oh, okay. So this is a battle. So we're going to wrap this video here. It went a bit long. Um, so thank you for watching, hypothetical viewers. We have now learned that Nick is, in fact, Prince Nick. The Prince of Cyprus, I guess? I, it's not clear if he's the next in line of the throne. But in any case, he's part of the Cyprus royal family. Why did he join the Guardiana army? Um, are we going to find that out? Maybe? Um, and, but now that we've reached the Cyprus mainland, unfortunately, his uncle the king is trying to murder us. And our party is split in half. So look forward to the next video where we will fight a battle at the docks. And I'm hoping learn more about what Prince Nick's deal is and why he joined us. So thank you for watching and look forward to that in the next Shining Force Gaiden.